Are quad sanitizers as safe as everyone thinks? Are one of the most widely used food safe sanitizers harmful? A new review of the safety of quaternary ammonium compound based sanitizers, QACs, which are also commonly called quats in the food industry, really puts the boot in. They're accused of being bioaccumulators, environmental toxins, and creators of drug resistant superbugs. It's worrying because the food industry relies on quads as one of the few widely used, widely accepted no-rinse sanitizers for use on food contact surfaces. Courtney Carignan, a co-author of the review and toxicologist from Michigan State University, told The Guardian, We did the review to answer the question of what do we really know about these sanitizers? And what was most surprising was there was a lack of health hazard data in the majority of QACs and the few that have been studied have red flags. The health effects reported in the paper are difficult to analyse from a food industry perspective because QACs are a huge and diverse group of chemicals. For example, a subtype of QACs often used in food manufacturing is benzylconium chloride, a QAC with 16 carbon atoms. But there are hundreds, if not thousands, of other QACs with carbon chain lengths ranging from 8 to 22. The paper discusses research into the health effects of all the different classes of QACs. Studies mentioned in the paper have shown that some QACs, including benzylconium chlorides, can accumulate in the body after being ingested or absorbed, which means that if they are harmful, they remain in the body causing harm for measurable periods of time. Other studies discussed in the paper describe how QACs, including benzylconium chlorides, can cause inflammation in humans, changed blood lipid or fat levels in humans, and suppress immunity in rodents. What does this mean for the food industry? This paper does not adequately address the risk-benefit profile of quaternary ammonium compounds when used for cleaning food contact surfaces for achieving food safety outcomes. While further studies might continue to show effects on human health from QACs, these would need to be considered against the risks of not using QACs in food handling processes. It's unlikely that anything will change quickly, but we should expect more rigorous investigations into the health risks from QACs, and this could lead to changes to rules for QAC sanitizers into the future. And by the way, if you're not already subscribed to the Rotten Apple newsletter, hop into the links and subscribe. We don't use your email address for anything else.